what's the best email marketing software for you? Well, after testing a lot of the best email services and even running our business on over five of the leading options, here's our top recommendations and what you need to know when deciding which is the best email marketing platform for you. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Growing an email list has had a massive impact on our business. If you're here, then you likely already know just how powerful it can be. But you've probably already noticed that there are a ridiculous amount of options out there when it comes to email marketing platforms. And it's not a small decision either. Choosing the wrong one could mean an absolute ton of work migrating down the road. So we didn't take our decision lightly and we've spent a ridiculous amount of time trying and testing all of the leading options and even running our entire business on five of our shortlisted options before deciding on two specific recommendations for different users. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you what we've learned from all that research, how we got to our top recommendations and what you need to know to choose the right email marketing software for you. And on top of that, I'll also share a link to the recording of a free workshop that we ran, stepping you through how we organically convert over 30% of our new YouTube subscribers over to our email list each and every month, completely automated. It's super thorough and it even includes a walkthrough on how to set up each of our recommended email platforms. So make sure you stick around for that one. All right, so for the short list, and I'm sure some of these platforms you might have heard of, that includes MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, Aweber, Drip, Infusionsoft, ConvertKit, GetResponse, Constant Contact, and Sendy, which is an Amazon SES platform. Now we've tested most of these and have even run our business at various times on several. So cutting to the chase, what are our recommendations and why? Well, our top two recommendations are Active Campaign and ConvertKit. Now as a little bit of background, on top of all of our testing, we actually ran our business on MailChimp. Then we moved to Aweber, ConvertKit, Drip, Infusionsoft and Active Campaign. From all of that, both of these options are the two standouts for different reasons. And they're also the best options that we've found for the vast majority of users. Now, obviously in that shortlist, there's some other really popular options. Drip is a solid platform and it seems to really fit somewhere between ConvertKit and Active Campaign. It's got some great automations, it's got a nice email builder, but where ConvertKit and Active Campaign stand out in their respective areas, Drip just didn't stack up for us. And Infusionsoft for a pretty long time has been the de facto standard for automation. We used it for a while and we found that even simple automations require an absolute complex mess of tags to set up, but then to be able to manage and to change things later on can become an absolute nightmare. So as I said, our top two recommendations are ConvertKit and ActiveCampaign. So let's dive into specifically why these two and which one is best for specific businesses and which one are we using right now. Both ConvertKit and ActiveCampaign are super powerful and they've also got a massive focus on automations, which is a huge advantage over a lot of the other options we had on the shortlist. And building out automations with your email list is one of the most powerful things you can do with your online business. They both have really great support, which again is really important. If you're gonna be building your business here and you've got an issue or you need a question answered or you need help with something, having fast and or good support is a huge thing. And they're also both based around a subscriber centric approach, meaning that you're only gonna be paying for a subscriber once, and that subscriber can be added to as many lists or tags as you like. Some other platforms charge differently and charge for numbers on lists. So if one person was on multiple lists, then you're paying for that one person or that one user or that one email address multiple times. So ConvertKit and ActiveCampaign will charge you once for a subscriber, and then that subscriber can appear on as many lists or tags as you like. Now there are some slight differences when you're looking at the workflow between the two. ConvertKit is entirely tag based, whereas ActiveCampaign includes both tags and lists, which does add a nice extra layer of options for your subscriber management. So that's the general stuff. Looking specifically at ConvertKit, it's got a super simple, really clean interface, which is really easy to pick up and use versus almost any of the other options out there. So even if you are totally new to this and you've never used any of these other providers, you'll be able to get up and running fast in ConvertKit. 
It's got a really easy to use email editor. Now this one is less visually appealing and maybe less controls and features and things than some of the others out there, but it's primarily text-based. And they say the reason they've gone this way is because it increases the email campaign performance because the emails look more personal. So instead of having emails that look like they've just been bulk sent out to thousands of people, the emails that were sent from here look like they were sent from a personal, from a personal email account. And with our experience with it, we totally agree. There's also some really Really big updates they've got. Some really cool stuff in the pipeline for 2019 on their email editor. So it's gonna be pretty exciting when they roll those out. Now looking at the automation side of things, ConvertKit's got really powerful intuitive automations. They actually recently introduced a visual automation builder, which is a huge improvement and really helps to understand what happens as your users move through a workflow. It supports a lot of the basic options that most users need and even has built-in landing pages so that you can deploy them fast, but also so that you can keep everything under the one roof or on the same platform. But on that though, and specifically when looking in comparison to something like ActiveCampaign, there are less features in ConvertKit, but they are really purposeful in what they do and there's really no bloat in there. So it is super intuitive. It's easy to get up and running and it's easy to find things in there as well without getting overwhelmed in so many options. And I did mention that there was great support on both ConvertKit and ActiveCampaign, but an honorable mention has to go out here to ConvertKit as their team is just so approachable, they're genuine, and they're very responsive. Now, ActiveCampaign is great too, but it's a little more transactional. Somehow with ConvertKit, you really feel like you're part of the team. So I just needed to throw that as an extra little plus in there. So overall, we've got several clients and we've got tons of students that are currently using and loving ConvertKit. It's easy to pick up. It offers some great basic automations that you can grow into, and it doesn't require a tech team to understand it all. So now for Active Campaign, it's also got a really great interface, but it's a lot more complex than ConvertKit. It's got a built-in CRM or Customer Relationship Manager. It's a really simple one, so don't expect that it's up with Salesforce or something like that, but it does let you manage your customers and track their history and a whole lot of other fun stuff. Now the email editor in Active Campaign is definitely a little bit more clunky, but it does offer more flexibility. There's a lot more templates and it supports a lot more visual options than you had in ConvertKit. But a really big feature and a really big plus of Active Campaign is the super powerful automations. It supports everything that ConvertKit can do, but it goes far more complex as well. So back on the ConvertKit side of things, your automations are really built around tags and applying and removing tags. Whereas on the active campaign side of things, you're not just limited to tags. There's so many more things you can do and build out into your automations. And even really advanced things, really cool things for your business, like adding people to a custom Facebook audience or even creating a custom webhook that you could throw out at a certain point in your automation or in your workflow. So there's a huge level of depth that you can dive into on a platform like this, especially if you're looking at these automations. But a platform like this is also gonna be a lot harder to learn than something like ConvertKit. But it will give you more options as you grow if it's likely that you want more from your automations. But even outside of the automation stuff, there's just a huge range of features and a huge level of customization that you can apply inside of ActiveCampaign. So which one is the best and for who? Well, ConvertKit's gonna be the go-to recommendation for anyone that's likely to get bogged down in tech, that just wants something nice and unintrusive that's not gonna get in their way. It's also our top pick for anyone that's unlikely, gonna to wanna to dive into those complex automations or anything outside of a simple email funnel and just wants something that will get the job done, something that's nice, easy, and fast. An active campaign, on the other hand, is a far more customizable platform. There's a huge range of options and features offering incredible amounts of flexibility. So when you stack that up against ConvertKit, all that flexibility definitely adds a lot of complexity. But if automations is a big thing for you, and it definitely is for us, then you'll love active campaign. Even comparing the way the Active Campaign handles these automations against Infusionsoft, which has typically been the standard for marketing automation, Active Campaign just makes things so much simpler and so much easier to set up and manage. It really is chalk and cheese, and it's a standout by a big margin. So for us at Primal Video, we definitely don't shy away from the tech stuff, and we also have a big focus on automations. It's a big part of what we do. So Active Campaign has been the perfect solution for us, and a lot of our clients and students with a similar focus love it as well. But I do have to say that probably more of our students and clients have opted for the simplicity of ConvertKit, and they absolutely love it. 
So overall, if it's not clear from this overview which one is the standout for you, then I really suggest grabbing a free trial of each of them and diving in and checking them out for yourself. Links are in the description below. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, there is a link on screen now for our free email list workshop, which includes tutorials on how to set up both Active Campaign and Convert Kit, and how to start growing your email list on autopilot. These are the exact tactics that we use to grow our email list by 30% of our new YouTube subscribers completely organically and on autopilot each and every month. I'll see you soon.